So I just thought I'd do a little video on using a basic fault code reader and uh, how to clear the codes uh, on your Rover 45 if you've got a fault code or an engine warning light that um, you sorted out the problem and now want to clear that um, code. We're using this basic code reader here as you can see and uh, what it does is it plugs in on the driver's side um, under the centre console and you can see those plugs there so that's where you plug it in and there it is plugged in and uh, you'll know it's plugged in because you'll get a um, picture come up on the um, full code reader that lets you know there's power there the next stage is to um, turn the ignition on so as you can see on this car, um, what we've got is the uh, engine warning light. Now we've got the ignition on, the engine's not running, but that light uh, doesn't go out. And what it is, is um, it's a um, error code caused um, because there's an imbalance between the two lamber sensors. Um, we've sorted that problem uh, out, but um, what we need to do is to uh, clear that code so that the engine light isn't constantly on when you're uh, driving the car. So um, all these code readers are very similar. On this one, once you've turned the ignition on, all you need to do is press the enter button and basically I start doing a um, scan just to find out the vehicle and um, any fault codes that are in the system. Which is done. And it's showing you them and then you get your menu with um, options as you can see the little arrow is already on read the code which is what we want to do you can erase the codes as uh, well um, so what we're going to do is click enter and see what codes are there and uh, it comes up as we um, already said that it's a, a catalyst system below efficiency uh, threshold bank one and uh, bank one is because this only has got one exhaust system if you had two exhaust systems then um, you would get a bank one and a bank two um, and basically it's sensing there's a um, difference between the two lambda sensors one is right at the start of the exhaust and one is after the catalytic converter and uh, the one that's after the catalytic converter is um, believing the catalytic converter is not working properly and there's all sorts of reasons that can cause that we're not going to get into this because I say this is more about using a fault code reader and how to clear the faults once you've done the job and want to get the um, engine warning light off or get rid of uh, any codes uh, it's a um, PO four two oh and if you put that into a search engine it will tell you some of the things that can cause that fault and from what i understand it's a very common fault to uh to come up so um we've seen what the code is so all we need to do now is um exit that and that gets us back to the main menu where we can then erase the code so we can get rid of the engine warning light now that um, we've sorted out the problem now we have read what our fault code is and we already know we've solved that problem uh, all you need to do then is scroll down so the arrow moves to erase codes uh, then click enter and then it asked you are you sure you want to um, erase these codes it's already on yes so all you need to do then is click enter again and um, everything's erased and all you need to do then is just leave it alone and it goes back to the normal screen so if you've bought one of these very basic fault code readers that don't cost a lot of money and i think are well worth having it just allows you when you've repaired a fault but um, you've still got the engine warning light on you can very easily erase that code and what you can also do is if you're not sure if the fault has gone then you can erase the code and drive the car and see if it comes 
back and then you know there is a definite problem it's not just been some sort of weird occurrence that's caused that fault to happen um, when it wasn't really a long-term fault so yeah hope that's helped you if you've bought um, a basic fault code reader want to clear the um, fault code then this gives you a rough idea on how um, fairly straightforward it is as always you'll know, read all the instructions watch a few videos on how to do it which is what we did and uh, it gives you a good opportunity to um to do something that seems complicated but um with the right equipment and uh, spending the time is very straightforward to do so all we need to do now is see when we start the engine if the um, engine warning light is uh, now going off after we've cleared the fault code yeah and uh, straight away the um, engine warning light has gone off and all the other warning lights have gone off so hopefully um, that helps you on how to do that As always, don't forget to subscribe. Um, look for our channel for other videos on uh, our Rover cars. And uh, don't forget our Twitter and uh, Instagram pages as well. All the links are on our YouTube homepage.